people with disabilities all around the world are, are half as likely to be active in the labour market. Really good companies value diverse pools of talent. Populations which have more inclusive people with them do better in terms of business. But away from the research, we believe in Standard Chartered. It's simply the right thing to do. We've tended to look at the economic loss by keeping people out of employment, out of the labour market. There is about a $6 trillion loss to the global economy. We came to a general conclusion that the challenge, the gap, was one of confidence within the system. But there's no function within the labour market to build that confidence from the demand side of the labour market and the job seekers, the supply side of the labour market, and then bring the two together to act as a link between the two. And that's been a lot of the work then over the last three years of working with companies that have this aspiration to be more inclusive, companies that are willing to be pioneers and to influence other companies within those economies. One of the common things we've applied across all four countries has been the use of Accenture's Skills to Succeed learning exchange. Now this is a platform that was created on primarily self-learning. Many people just by accessing that online learning really generated that preparedness, that self-confidence to start applying for job opportunities. As has been mentoring, so recognizing that also linking job seekers to experienced HR practitioners or perhaps people in other functions within a company can really help further develop that self-confidence the IT Bridge Academy in Nairobi, building those deep technical IT skills that we know are in huge demand. So nobody would have thought a person with a disability can do a course in cybersecurity. But then you can see now we have 33 graduates who successfully went through the course and now are currently interning. That's where Safaricom uh, volunteered and said, we, are will we were willing to just take on all the interns to give them that um, workspace experience. Working with the farmers in the Diageo supply chain and creating a disability-led efficiency program within Diageo. The project has changed uh, drastically the livelihood of people with disability within our society. You know, when we started, people thought that we could not do it because we are disabled. Even weeding, plowing. But you know, when we were told that this thing is something which can empower us, we came full blast and uh, I'm a live testimony. I did it and I succeeded. And then on the employer side, recognizing then that disability confidence gap and also the opportunity to use technology to reach thousands of people working in companies like Unilever or Diageo or Coca-Cola or Safaricom or many, many other companies in the four countries thousands of people within those companies receiving fundamentals training around disability, how to even talk about disability. Developing business and disability networks or nurturing business and disability networks where they already existed in country where we were working. What I consider as one of the biggest things that the program has done, it has opened up the doors for us as OPDs to engage employers at that local level. We feel that persons with disability need to be contacted and give input on how best they should be accommodated and not be spoken for. We have many uh, achievements in terms of uh, strengthening the capacity of the OPDs as because uh, they were meaningfully and effectively engaged with the forces. We need to learn to start together, identify the challenges together and identify solutions together so that we are walking that journey together. And I think the regulatory system or the rules of the system is where we need to have quite a significant focus and have had, particularly in Nigeria, of then working with the government on establishing a commission on disability in employment.
the key learning is that we've demonstrated or we have enough evidence now that the system can adapt to be more inclusive of people with disabilities in formal employment. Of course, though, it's scratching the surface of the labour market, but it necessarily needs a generation to make any significant change. We've been able to demonstrate and evidence how it can change. And now the challenge to us is to find the mechanisms and the financing to, to really bring that to scale. Programs like this are necessarily expensive because they're systems change programs, but the return on the investment is astronomical. The pitch will always be, there's a business case and there's an ethical case for inclusion and we can help you do it.